Special edition of Food for Thought for you guys this, this evening. She is no stranger to this channel. You guys have seen her before. All right, she is a culinary genius. Uh, a lot of transition has been made with her. Actually, a lot of transformation has been made with this young lady. Uh, she, her, her fitness journey up to this point is inspiring, absolutely phenomenal, and she is a beast when it comes to powerlifting, which a lot of females are starting to get into the genre of powerlifting and she is a force to be reckoned with. I'm not going to do this uh, food for thought, I'm going to let her, this is her thing. Uh, she's got a business that she's already started. She's got a lot of different ventures, venues that she's going down that she's already launched and this is a phenomenal time for her and her family and I want you guys to dive right in with this. Take a look at her YouTube channel. If you can utilize anything that she's doing business-wise, by all means, uh, please do so. You will not be disappointed. I'm going to go ahead and shut the hell up, and I'm going to turn this over to Allie and let her do her thing, man. It's your boy, Kevin the Vec Tyrus Fit. No bull, just buck, baby. Enjoy this special edition of Food for Thought. All that. <laughs> it's going down! with sesame ginger rice and charred bok choy. So what we have, other than chicken obviously, some brown rice, this is bok choy which is just a Asian cabbage. Um, we've got a blend of some wild mushrooms here, zucchini, shredded carrots, green onions, red pepper, cilantro, and some fresh ginger and garlic. I also have sesame oil and rice wine vinegar that we're going to use to season things up. So to get started, the rice is going to take, take the longest, so we will start with this. I have um, one cup of unsalted vegetable stock and one and a half cups of water. And then we're going to use just long grain brown rice. And we'll go ahead and bring that to a boil. Once, it's, once it gets there, we'll cover it and let it simmer. So we're going to start with the chicken now. Um, you're always going to need to clean your chicken a little bit. It's going to have fat or skin attached to it and you don't want that. So just kind of trim around. You can use your knife and scrape and then just trim around the edge there. Um, and now what we're going to do is butterfly the chicken. So just put your knife in. And you're not going to cut all the way through, just about three quarters of the way through. Careful not to cut your hand. Now that it's open, we put it on this plastic wrap and we're just going to pound it out a little bit. Pounding the chicken is going to help break up these tissues a little bit, make it easier to roll, plus it's going to be thinner and cook quicker. So we're going to add a little extra flavor to the rice. It's already boiling, so I covered it. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of sesame oil, and you can add this at the very beginning too. Sesame oil has, that was more like a half a teaspoon actually, uh, it has a really strong flavor so you just need a little bit. And then I'm also going to add some fresh ginger. And that is about a teaspoon there. And then here, I'm going to cook the filling for our roulades. So with just a little olive oil. Okay, so I have a little olive oil in the pan and it's nice and hot. And you, anytime you saute, you want to start with whatever is going to take the longest to cook. So bell peppers are going to take my longest to cook. So we'll all right, we've got our peppers going. I'm gonna add mushrooms next. I'm gonna do the zucchini. And I've got fresh garlic. That 
low sodium soy sauce. You can also use liquid aminos if you can find it. It's like a soy sauce substitute with very little sodium and some rice wine vinegar. And then the rest of that ginger. I'm just gonna let this cook down a little bit. And then right at the end, I'll add the carrots and green onions. I don't really need those to cook at all. I like them with a little crunch to it. All right, so this has been sauteing for maybe five minutes or so. I'm gonna add the cilantro now. It adds, anytime you're using fresh herbs, you wanna add it in at the end so they don't burn. Add my carrots and some green onion. So this is gonna be the filling for our roulade. So I'll pull this off and let it cool for a couple of minutes so I can handle it, and then we will stuff the chicken. Okay, so we're ready to fill the chicken now. I put it, put it on um, plastic wrap again. It's gonna help us roll. We're just gonna do a little salt and pepper. Add the filling here. Then I'm going to use the plastic and roll it like sushi, so it's just kind of on top of each other. And that's it. So the chicken is stuffed and we're just going to sear the outside to add a little extra flavor. In here I just have a little olive oil and a little sesame oil. We're going to put the chicken with the fold side down. You want to let it cook until it doesn't stick to the pan anymore. And once it's not sticking, then we'll turn it and just do every side, and then we're gonna throw it in the oven and let it finish cooking there. So the bottom's nice and seared. I'm just gonna roll it a little bit. A little bit of our filling's coming out, and that's fine. This is just getting some caramelization on the chicken, and she's gonna add a little extra flavor. And we'll put it here on our baking dish. I have the oven already preheated to 350. So we'll finish cooking and it'll go quickly, about 12, maybe 15 minutes. Okay, so now for the bok choy, we're gonna use the same pan that we did for the chicken. I just kind of rinsed it out a little bit. A um, little olive oil, and we're just gonna throw it in here. Soy sauce. And then we'll put the lid on and kind of let it steam. And by the time that's finished, the chicken should be ready and the rice is just about finished, so we're almost there. All right, guys, we are finally done. She has done her magic again. All right, an Asian chicken roulade over sesame, ginger, rice, and bok choy. <laughs> Got it. All right, man, that is your final product, man. This is the grand finale, so you know we're going to have to taste test this to make sure that it meets Taurus Fit. No bull just broke food for thought standards, and I'm sure that it will. So. All right, guys, so here's the taste test. All that nice rice that she did. You see all the vegetables, uh, the bok choy, all the saute action that she's got going there. And this chicken is thoroughly cooked through and through. You see that steam jumping up off her? And it smells, it smells delicious, man. So we're just gonna go ahead and dive right in. Look at that. Look at that. All of that. Now, I've never had rice made like this before. You guys know I like to use uh, coconut water. But, we'll try this. Alright guys, here we go, man. <laughs> because there are children here, her daughter's here, I'm not going to act a fool. <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> Damn, that's good, man. Oh, my God. Listen. That rice with all them vegetables in there and the flavor is absolutely, what's a, it's my flavor saver? It's absolutely <laughs> phenomenal. Uh, we will be crushing this. We're gonna definitely going to make this again, man. Uh, that is very good. It's extremely healthy. Got a lot of protein in it. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of nutrients in it. The flavor is phenomenal. 
and I wanted to do this to highlight Allie, uh, not only in her fitness progress, but also in her her business journey, what she's doing. And she does a fruit prep uh, for people that are in the fitness, that are prepping for shows, that are whatever uh, their dietary needs are. She preps food just like this, and she delivers it to them. It's very good. It's very cost effective. She's very efficient in what she does. And that's why I wanted her uh, to do this. She's been a very good friend. We love supporting her. And to watch her progress up to this point, again, is not only inspiring, but it's, it's mind-boggling how she can move the type of way that she does. Uh, you guys may remember I did a barbell. I went to a River City Barbell. And she was showing me how to squat on the wall, as you can see right there on her shirt. <laughs> And that has helped me in so many ways, just watching them and getting my form right. That has helped me in my squat game a lot. I don't even have to use knee wraps as much anymore now because my knees don't hurt because my form is better. So, having said that, man, uh, thank you, Allie. Well, man, talk to the people for me. Well, since the last time that I was here, I believe, um, I've started, I started powerlifting with River City Barbell um, in August of last year and in the last seven months. My coaches have gotten me to a level that I never thought I could get to. I've put 40 pounds on my bench PR. I've, I'm squatting almost 300 pounds now, which I didn't think was possible after having back surgery last April. Um, I've had, I've done two, competed in two different meets. I have another one coming up in May and more in the future. And I'm just, it's been awesome training at the best powerlifting gym that there is around here. Um, in addition to that, he mentioned my business that I've started doing meal prep. It's called Power Pack Meals and I offer uh, a varying menu of meals each week. It changes every week. Um, and it's a really great service for people that don't have time to cook, that don't know how to make things taste delicious and also be healthy and I enjoy doing it. So um, you can check it out on Facebook. It's Power Pack Meals. Um, RiverCityBarbell.com. You can always check that out as well. Our coaches are awesome and love to help people get to the next level. Um, aside from that, just Training, cutting yep. weight as always, trying yep. to, and uh, keeping up with this fella here. Yeah, right. You know, my <laughs> you know shot trying. past me, man, for real. Hey, uh, shout out to my homie Luther Training. You here in Cincinnati? I think you have. You mentioned one time before when we was at the Arnold that you trained the River City Barbell. Get at me, man. Same thing, Johnny Candido. You Cincinnati homebound. Uh, holla at me, man, if you will. Uh, she goes hard, man. So again, this was not about me. When we do these type of things, man, uh, I've said this before, we build champions, man. And this is not about me. It's about it's about this whole fitness lifestyle and the, and the camaraderie and brotherhood that's involved in it. And I am always there for helping to build somebody else up to help them reach their goal and to get them out there so other people can see them. As you can see, I'm not I don't I'm not ha I don't have on a Taurus Fit shirt. This is my homie Sean. All right, he down in uh in South uh, Miami down in Florida. Same thing, man. I'll rep him, too. You know what I'm saying? Because he good people. He about this life. And he doing his thing. So this is about her. I wanted to highlight her. You guys asked for her before. Beautiful young lady. Got a killer regime in the kitchen, man. I can't cook like this, man. But she can. And her spirit and her heart is beautiful. And, and, and she goes all out. So again, man, thank y'all for tuning in to this video. I'm glad you guys like this. If you like this video, don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and please check out her links. I have all the links in the description box, Facebook, you got Twitter, Instagram. you got Instagram. Anything that she got, <laughs> man, it's going to be in the description box. All, all that, man, all that. It's going to be in the description box. So y'all, please, man, check her out, follow her, man, show her some support, because she is good people, man. I only rock with those that's about this life, and she's definitely about this life, man. I'm done. We about to crush this. It's show boy. Kevin the back with Allie and TT behind that camera with a little baby girl Nora. Taurus fit! No more, just my baby! And we out. Yeah! Love you girl.